A Korean researchers at KAIST have confirmed the potential to diagnose Parkinson's disease early and ease symptoms by combining brain-nerve modulation technology using artificial intelligence and light. 한국과학기술원 카이스트가 인공지능과 빛을 이용한 뇌신경조절기술을 결합해 파킨슨 병을 조기 진단하고 증상을 완화할 수 있는 가능성을 확인했다고 발표했습니다. Tell us more. Oh, this is really exciting because it's the first kind of achievement of, of this kind, early diagnosis through AI-based behavioral analysis and using light uh, to stimulate neurons. Um, it's been really difficult to diagnose Parkinson's early. Mm. Um, the symptoms are very, very subtle um, at, an, uh, at an early stage. But uh, by doing uh, tests on mice, using multiple cameras and AI, looking at how the mice moves, but also looking at how light affects them, they've been able to distinguish mice with Parkinson's much more accurately than ever before. And this means, when it comes to humans, this could be a great early warning device so that, device so that we know who might be suffering and then get them the treatment they need. Um, AI를 이용해서 진짜 파킨슨 병을 조기에 진단할 수 있다면 은 상당히 큰 발전이겠죠. You said there were subtle symptoms, yes. uh, which are very hard to detect initially. Yeah. But uh, using AI, we may, may be able to pick those up. If something is subtle, that means it's not... Distinct. It's not noticeable. Uh, yeah, it's not much. obvious. It's not obvious. Uh, yeah, Thank you. we talk yeah. about subtle being the antonym of obvious. Mm. Obvious, you can immediately see it. Yeah, uh, but a subtle is a little more sneaky. Mm. So, for mm. example, an obvious compliment might be, "Oh, Sue, you look lovely today." A subtle Thank compliment you. might be, <laughs> uh, "Sue, yeah, it was really interesting working with you today. Uh, nice, nice job in the outfit, by the way." Mm-mm. Just a little subtle. Subtle. Okay. So with AI, we may be able to diagnose Parkinson's early. Yes, if we do something early, well, it's the opposite of doing it late. We do it sooner rather than later. And to Mm. diagnose means to confirm that someone or some animal has some illness or some issue with their body. You can be diagnosed with the flu. You could be diagnosed with Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. We use this term a lot in medical terminology. Mm. A doctor will diagnose you, meaning they will tell you what your problem is. Mm. Be diagnosed with something. 무엇으로? 진단받다. Or to diagnose. 진단하다. What about to ease symptoms well your symptoms are the things that occur because of your illness because of Mm. your condition for example um if you have a cold the symptoms most often will be sneezing Mm. runny nose sore throat cough for example those are the symptoms and if you ease symptoms well you make them better you make Mm. them less bad than they were so medicine should in most cases ease your symptoms if you're sick absolutely and that's why we go to the doctors we get diagnosed with the cold and then you take the necessary medicine to ease the symptoms yes e-a-s-e to ease means to make it less so 뭔가 완화시키는 거죠 to ease the symptoms 증상을 완화한다 자, 그럼 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Korean researchers at KAIST have confirmed the potential to diagnose Parkinson's disease early and ease symptoms by combining brain nerve modulation technology using artificial intelligence and light. All right, let's move on to the next headline. A family-run butcher shop in Japan is offering highly sought-after Kobe beef croquettes that have a 43-year-long waiting list when purchased today. 일본의 한 가족 경영 정육점에서 고베 소고기, 고베규로 만들어 판매하는 크로켓이 화제입니다. 이 제품은 높은 인기로 인해 오늘 주문할 경우 대기 기간이 43년에 이르는 것으로 알려졌습니다. Talk about something being in high demand. 43 years is how long you'll have to wait if you order this croquette today. Yeah, but it, it wasn't always that this way. This okay. butcher shop has been around for just under 100 years. It was founded in 1926 in Takasago City mm-hmm. in the Hyogo Prefecture. And uh, they started selling all sorts of meat and meat products. And then after the Second World War, uh, they had these croquettes. And they were popular but they weren't that popular until the internet because it was the early 2000s when suddenly mm. lots of people discovered them. Um, and then there was a waiting list and then it got longer and longer and longer. In 2022, 
You had to wait 30 years, and now you have to wait 43 years for a bit of deep fried potato with some beef in it. Can I ask you a culinary question? Of course. What is a croquette? A croquette is a deep fried uh, snack.、Mm. It's usually、um, a deep fried potato with a filling in the middle. At、mm. least that's my understanding of a croquette. Okay, so. This potato fried thing, this croquette,、yes. has this expensive beef in it, I guess. Yeah, the Kobe beef. So,、ah. so a croquette normally will have a filling. You could have a curry croquette, you、mm. could have a vegetable croquette, a pork croquette, or a beef croquette. c o u l d you? Croquette, Kobe beef, got to Roga Eco, it took Jong and Jong Yuk Jom as a pan and you get no muna in Kiga Mantabonica. Tegi Giganimo, Oma, Oma, Haneo. Come on, Toido Chumun, Manage, Handa Groman, Sashim Yon Hutum, and Padus in Goya. Yeah, well, at least for the moment. <laughs> the, the really funny thing is, you think with a 43 year waiting list, they would be really expensive,、mm. but it's actually only 5,000 per beef croquette. It's、okay. about 5,000 won a, a、mm. box. They sell these boxes of five for about 25,000 won. So it's not expensive, but no, it's just. But it's really, really popular. Really popular.、Mm. So I think that's why everybody wants to get on the waiting list.、Mm. I, I don't know whether we'll last 43 years, though, Sue. Yeah, well, I don't know. But I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of croquettes. However, this one sounds yummy. Let's have a look at Butcher Shop. That's where they're selling this. Yes, a butcher shop is where the butchers work. And the butchers、uh, are the people traditionally who will、uh, cut apart the meat and prepare it or prepare meat products and sell、mm. them. I got confused when I came to Korea because、mm. I, I, was, I was looking at mask dance and I thought that Baekjung was Buddha, butcher. Oh. Yeah, when in fact it's、mm. a slaughterer. Yeah, which is a little、different. bit different. Yeah, yeah. So, so a butcher is not a slaughter. A butcher doesn't work at an abattoir.、Mm. A butcher is someone who gets the meat,、um, maybe gets the whole carcass, and then will cut it up and then serve it and sell it to customers. Butcher is a Jongyuk sa, butcher shop is a Jongyuk jomi. Now, what about highly sought after? Oh, if we're seeking something, we're looking it. So,、mm. sought in the past tense. And if something is highly sought after, lots of people are looking for it. Lots of people want to get it or find it. So, sought is the past tense of seek. seek. Yes, it's、mm. one of those irregular verbs. You're just going to、mm. have to memorize it. How do you spell it?、Uh, S O U G H T. Highly sought after. Meo suyoga nopen, banen. 사람들이 굉장히 많이 찾는 이라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. 다시 읽어볼게요. A family run butcher shop in Japan is offering highly sought after Kobe beef croquettes that have a 43 year long waiting list when purchased today. Now moving on, this is our final headline. An outdoor clothing brand has apologized for a fireworks display in the Himalayan region of Tibet as part of a promotional campaign which drew backlash for its potential impact on the fragile ecosystem. An outdoor 의류 브랜드가 홍보 캠페인의 일환으로 중국 티베트 히말라야 고산지대에서 불꽃놀이 쇼를 진행했으나 이 행사가 이곳에 취약한 생태계에 악영향을 미칠 수 있다는 비판이 일자 공식 사과했습니다. Yeah, this, was, this only happened four days ago,、mm. uh, but it sparked fury on the internet. It was,、um, it was done in the foothills of the Himalayas in Tibet,、um, and we had these multicolor fireworks, and I'm、mm. sure they looked very pretty. They were designed by a Chinese artist as part of this promotional campaign. However, when people saw the videos, they said, Hang on, you, the brand, are meant to be all about conservation. And yet, You're setting off these fireworks. You're, you're, you, know, you could cause a fire、yeah. uh, in the scrub. You、Who、could scare animals. Who approved this in the first place? Yeah, what yeah. about smoke? And so the firm has had this big backlash and、mm. have said, we're going to look at how it's impacted the area and we will take care of it. But I think it's perhaps too little too late because critics are saying this will have disrupted the ecosystem, will have disrupted local wildlife. I think people are very upset that、mm. a brand that supposedly was all about. Conserving nature has done something to perhaps、uh, cause more natural problems. Ah, 그래요. 사실은 이제 outdoor clothing brand 그 야외에서 우리가 입는 옷을 파는 outdoor 의류 브랜드이기 네. 때문에 이런 자연 생태계 이런 것들도 신경을 좀 많이 쓰는 브랜드라고 생각했는데 자연을 좀 훼손할 수 있는 그런 불꽃놀이 행사를 해서 원성을 산 그런 상태입니다. 자, 표현을 좀 볼게요. This event, this fireworks show, it drew 
backlash. Yeah, let's deal with draw. If yep. we draw something or someone or a group of people, it means we bring them towards us.、Mm. For example, if you see a busker on the street in Hongdae, they might draw a crowd,、mm. meaning people are attracted. A crowd is attracted and comes to them. But here, this is not positive because it's drawing. Backlash,、yeah. and backlash is some negative outpouring after something happens.、Mm. It's sort of like the 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 criticism or the anger about something. We call that the backlash.、Mm. Backlash is 비난이고요 criticism, and to draw something is 뭔가를이끈다라는느낌이있어서비난을불러일으켰다、yeah. So you can draw praise, you can draw criticism,、mm. you can draw.、Mm. Clash. You can draw all sorts of things. Exactly. Now, what about something that's very fragile? I like to think of a a delicate、uh, pottery cup,、oh. something like that.、Okay. That if you were to knock it off the table,、mm. smash, it would be destroyed instantly, broken into、mm. a million pieces.、Mm-hmm. Because if something is fragile, it will break very easily. 굉장히쉽게깨질수있는겁니다그래서택배물에도이제깨질수있다라는뜻으로영어로는딱한단어、네、fragile 이렇게붙거든요이게취약하다깨질수있다이런뜻이있기때문에 There's also another three words added to that. Okay. Fragile, handle with care. 아 handle with care. 취급주의네、앞에는이제깨질수있음이라는한단어 fragile 이많이붙고요 f r a g i l e 이렇게쓰는데 Paul, I have a question about the usage of this word. I'm sorry,、can、I don't it... know whether I can answer it. <laughs> oh, you、um, seem very fragile yeah, today. Yeah, I'm quite sensitive. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so you can use it with people. You can, yeah.、Mm. Um, for example.、Um, If you've gone through a really bad time,、mm. maybe you've lost your job, or you've had a loss in the family, or something, you might describe yourself as feeling fragile or、yeah. being fragile. Means your emotions could break, could、mm. uh, could really be hurt at any moment.、Um, yeah, so we can describe ourselves. We can describe other people. I'd be very careful with it because when describing other people,、mm. we can use it in sympathy, but it's suggesting that they're not strong enough. Yeah. So, so it could be taken as an insult、mm. if you're not careful. But certainly, you know, after losing a loved one, for example, that would be a time when someone would be described as fragile. 이렇게사람한테마음이굉장히약해져있을때그묘사하는의미로 fragile person, this person is fragile, or、um, what, what's the other verb you can use with fragile?、Uh, this person delicate. Oh, but oh well, a, a, verb. a verb. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you can you can talk about a fragile relationship. Okay.、Um, so, for example, in politics, in diplomacy, we can talk about Pakistan and India having、mm. a very fragile relationship. We often see, you know,、um, military action on the border、right. in Kashmir, for example, and tensions can rise very quickly、mm. because their relationship is fragile. 그래요좀취약하다연약하다이런의미로도쓸수있는단어입니다자다시읽어볼게요 An outdoor clothing brand has apologized for a fireworks display in the Himalayan region of Tibet as part of a promotional campaign, which drew backlash for its potential impact on the fragile ecosystem. Now, 지금까지 newscaster Paul Matthews와 함께 살펴본 headlines였습니다